I think the reason people aren't classified sometimes is they don't want the labor. Yeah, it's it's a labor issue. I don't have to have an attendant there. I don't have to have a rescue team on standby. I don't have to do the training. I don't have to this. have the overtime. I would never send someone into a space. Just go have lunch. <laughs> and and that's kind of what we're talking about. Yeah. I, I would never do that. And I come back and say, hey, Jan, how you doing? That would be weird. I'd be like, I'm going to stay here even if it's not required because maybe I need to get a tool. I mean, there's still a buddy system thing that goes on. So we've talked about that too, that you may reclassify space. How, how do you know if somebody's having a problem in there? They're Whatever just out there working it. Because when you start talking reclassification, you're, you got your borderline working alone protocols almost in my world. Yes. It could be yes. space that's kind of and remote you can't really or, see them. or yeah. no one's around. You can't see them. You can't hear them potentially. No one knows that they're having an issue. If they can't get to their radio or something went on, right. that, that person could be in that space for hours yeah. and we don't 